Hey, this is PC and I'm ready for another Squint 180 with you, so let's get right to our teaching today. Uh, my, one of my favorite passages of scripture is in John 10.10. 10. The thief has come to steal and kill and destroy, but my purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. That's Jesus talking to his disciples, okay? So the thief's purpose is to steal and to kill and destroy. My purpose, his purpose, is to give them a rich and satisfying life. That's John 10.10. 10. The life that Jesus uh, offered was an abundant life. Not a prosperity theology like some might think. Some, have th some think a pro that uh, prosperity theology is situations where if you give God riches, you're going to get riches in return. That's what he promises. Well, no, that's not, that's not it. On the other side of the coin, there's some people uh, have talked about a, po a poverty gospel. And there is a poverty gospel. It's one in which people think that, well, God wants me poor and humble, and then he'll bless me. As always, truth is usually found somewhere between the two extremes. And so I grew up hearing about eternal life, that someday I'm going to go to heaven, and that's true. That's what resurrection, if we know Jesus Christ as our Savior, that's what resurrection is about. Someday we'll die, and we'll be resurrected, and, and, and we'll go to heaven, and we'll be with Jesus and with other people who have passed on before us. But Jesus' hearers understood that this eternal life, this rich and satisfying life, you didn't have to wait till the end of the game, that it can begin right now. That they could begin to enjoy right now a transformed life, a life that, though difficult at times, was certainly a blessed life and a better life. That's what Jesus' hearers understood. This past week, I've been blessed to attend the Acton Institute uh, it's called Acton University, and it's put on by the Acton Institute, which is a think tank that encourages the promotion of a free and virtuous society through, through free market economic teachings and hope in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And for the past four days, we have been discussing uh, at great length, I feel like I've been drinking out of a fire hose, <coughs> the anthropological aspect uh, that is not only offering a free market economical approach to help those in the world who are under tyranny and oppression, but to help them flourish both economically and spiritually. Human flourishing then has been the underscore of a great discussion this week. And while I'm a free market economist, okay, I'm a high school teacher and uh, I'm a preacher and I happen to teach a free market ideology, I'm an evangelical Christian, a pastor, who believes that human flourishing begins with bringing the gospel of Jesus to people both in speaking and in our living it out before them so that they might desire to place their faith in Jesus and not just to be rescued from hell and to have a place in heaven, but those are both true, but so that they can begin to flourish right now and enjoy the rich and satisfying life that Jesus has for them and for all of us. And so my encouragement is twofold uh, for you today to join me. If you've never placed your faith in Christ, I pray that you will. I pray that you will place your faith in Jesus Christ and begin to enjoy the life that he has for you. Because it is a rich and satisfying life. And I have found that there's probably nothing more satisfying than to bring the gospel of Jesus to others to encourage them who are maybe suffering and are oppressed to encourage them to a free and flourishing life. Hey, have an amazing weekend, and I pray that you'll be in a house of worship tomorrow and bring a friend with you. Thank you so much. Take care.